Hello everyone, my name is David Roca and I'm one of the three candidates running for mayor this year of Fremont, Ohio. First off, I want to talk about change and I want to talk about positive change. Before you make any change in the community, you absolutely have to make sure that your police and fire departments are fully staffed and equipped. There's no sense in building anything in the community if you can't protect it. That's my first point. Our police officers and firemen do an excellent job. Change in any community can be subtle. It doesn't have to be extravagant right off the bat, like fixing roads and just adding things that we need. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could work with the uh, Sandusky County Dog Warden and groups like the Women of the Moose on funding and bring in another drug dog to the Fremont Police Department? Subtle changes happen all the time. There's nothing you can do about it. That's just the way the world works. Do you remember the days of roller skating and arcades? Things like that. Kids don't have that anymore. Now, I understand why they have it. I'm just wondering, do they have to stay gone? We need more places for our kids to socialize, have family time. We can do this. In my opinion, Cody Bischoff has done a great job out of the rec center. Mike Steele has done some amazing things like bringing the calves to the YMCA. And Mrs. Thompson, she is doing an amazing job over at the campfire. But we can utilize some of these spaces more as a community for our children and our families. Now, although we'll be working with some fresh new ideas from some amazing community members, some things will be the same, but we have to work to improve our community. We just can't improve certain sections. And I think we can do it. Portage Trail Canoe Livery. I worked there many of my teen years. I learned a lot from Tom, Tom Cashmere, the owner. You go down there now, it's just sad. Everything's gone. Why couldn't we turn that area into something like Kayak, Ohio? Just something to bring the park back and some more activity. And also, with all these volunteers in this town, it's amazing. They go unrecognized day after day after day. We need more to take some of the weight off of the volunteers we already have. We need more volunteers to help our community members, and we're going to do it. There's just a lot of things we can do. There's a lot of things we can do that won't cost the taxpayers anything, and there's a lot of things that we'll do, like repair the roads, that may cost a little. But we'll get grants. We'll do whatever we need to do to make the cost as low as possible for our citizens. That's the way it should have been done in the first place. Thank you very much, and you have a great day.